Hey guys, welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. Uh, today I'm going to work on a lesson with you um, that I'm pretty excited about. It's about strumming patterns, and we're going to go through about six easy strumming patterns that you can use, especially as a beginner, but um, even if you're not a beginner, you can definitely use these patterns. But more importantly, I wanted to show people kind of the um, a way that a strum pattern is created. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. If you have not watched the video on uh, kind of the uh, beginning rhythm, um, how to play in time or how to play in rhythm, definitely go back and check that one out. And I go into a lot of detail, um, mostly about strumming mechanics, which is how you hold your pick, the movement of your wrist, your elbow, your arm, and always keeping, most importantly, a steady rhythm up and down rhythm when you're strumming. And then I talk about how you can imagine a string tied around your wrist that's tied to your toe. And when your toe hits the ground on the beat, it pulls your wrist down. So you strum down. And when your wrist comes up, the string pulls your toe up. Those are the up strums. And those are the ands. So it's one and two and three and four and down on the ones, twos, threes, and fours, up on the ands. That's the really basic version of that lesson, but you should check it out if you haven't. So this lesson is going to go into detail about exactly kind of what a strum pattern is and how to create uh, several of them just by making some small changes. So what I have here is a kind of a visual of the uh, just think of it as eighth notes because there's eight, one and two and three and four and eight. And um, most common time signature will, will work with. So there's four beats in this measure or bar. And the uh, down strums happen on the beats, the one, two, three, four. And the up strums happen on the ands. So it's kind of a visual we just talked about. I'm going to show you how. We use this to create about six different strum patterns you can work on. Uh, the first one is uh, probably the most basic strum pattern. And, well, let me say this first. A strum pattern is basically uh, adding and removing some of these arrows. So if you watch someone play guitar and strum, which is like 80% of the time they're playing, their hand is always going up and down. Now, there's, the pick is not always hitting the strings every time. So removing when your pick is hitting the strings basically creates your strum pattern for you. And I'll show you that. Um, I also get a lot of questions when you're um, practicing or playing and you strum up. Do you have to hit all six strings? And the answer is no. You want to kind of concentrate on those first kind of four. It doesn't need to sound like this. A little more relaxed and fluid. So the F strums don't hit all six strings, and that's totally fine. So let me show you what I mean by taking away some of this um, down and up strums to create a strum pattern. So if we remove the ands from this picture, You get this. It's kind of our first and most basic strum pattern. And it's going to be down strums on the beat. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 down. As you see, my hand's still coming up. It's got to go down, it's got to come back up. Just not hitting the strings when I bring it back up. So it just sounds like this. Down, 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 down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Most basic strum pattern that you can play. Now, if we add those hands back in and I'm 
no artist, but hopefully this is getting that point across for you. Add the ends back in. Looks like this again. And when you play this, it's one and two and three and four and. So remember, if you tap in your toe, one and two and three and four and. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Sounds like this. common strum pattern. For the third one, oops, we're gonna get rid of some stuff again. We get this. We removed um, the first two ands and the last and, so it sent, looks like this. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Down, 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 up, down. Down, 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 up, down. Sounds like this. Just by adding, really, if you think about the first pattern we did, just adding this one up strum, you change from this to this. A lot more interesting. Okay. Strum pattern number four. Actually, going to add the um, upstrom at the end of the bar back in. To get this. 